let's shift the negative yeah. thoughts and feelings to positive. So, Irina, uh, what are you gonna what are you gonna give to your clients who are now uh, suffering from this pandemic thing? Uh, thank you, Jenny. Great question. So, what would I give and what would I suggest to my clients who are struggling during this pandemic? Um, what I would give is to be focused on the goal. So if you have a, a passion that you're following, I recommend and I suggest to follow that, to focus on that. Um, and if there is a inner voice that tells you that you have to take care of yourself, then you should honor that. I think this is a time to really listen to your inner voice and your intuition and to do what it tells you. And um, for, for clients, the clients that I work with, they work with passion ideas and, and their dreams. So they, they have tendency to naturally last through difficult situations because your passion is taking you through it. So focusing on that will help you getting through difficult situations. And at the same time, if, if your inner voice is telling you, hey, I need to slow down, or I need to take a pivot, or I need to do something else right now. That's, that's, that's a, still okay, as long as you're listening to that inner voice, because you can come back um, at any time to, to doing your business if your inner voice is telling you that you need to do something for you, you know, that you need to take care of yourself at the moment. So I would say listening to your inner voice and following your passion uh, will help you get through a difficult time. That's great. I love it. Thank you. Great answer, Irina. Great advice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of business owners uh, appreciate that and can use the advice. Um, for me, like this challenging situation has really taught me um, how important a backup plan is. And um, that's what I would advocate for is having a backup plan in case you don't have or you lose your job. You have to have some kind of side hustle to generate income from. And online is the best way to do it because your, your audience is global. And there's no better way to do it, to have a business than online because of that reach. You have unlimited potential, but you got to have um the knowledge on how to 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 get that client you know identify who your dream customer is and, and where they're hanging out and how are you gonna lure them in to your world so those are are important things that um you need to learn about when you start this business because marketing is your revenue generator and your actual business is just the fulfillment center so you got to understand that marketing is where you want to put the most money into time and money basically so that's it that is great Vern, especially for those who didn't have any income or thinking of getting side hustles that is a great advice so about me, um, I would just like to direct it on my advice to fellow moms like me, um, especially during this pandemic, is to be honest. Know your strengths, know your weaknesses. Because one thing I learned is that if you put yourself in there and said, this is what I need, people will give it to you. And if you say, this is what I have, and I'm willing to share it, People will accept it. So just a quick example is just in our uh, mom's group. Someone has an extra gallon of milk. She said, I can't finish it. It's going to expire in a few days. Who needs it? And then, you know, just being honest. And then one mom would say, oh, I, I can have that, but I have extra bread. Do you want it? And that's mm. when I saw the trading. Mm. It's not about being judged that you don't have this much or something yeah. has no value you do have a value and it's about the honesty that i need help or i can help mm. you with with no matter how little you have somebody will actually appreciate it yeah. and that's one thing that 
I learned what can help us go through with this. Yes, that's a good one. I really like that. Like accept help, mm -hmm. accept help. In rush, rush. I'm. Oh. You're cutting down. Actually, I love your your comment about you know just being honest and realizing that you know what no judgment and yeah. reaching out for help is half half of the thing. You know, right now you look at the lines of people you know needing food, and yeah. if you are able to give, to be able to. You know, giving is a huge, huge thing right now to be able to do if you can. So for my clients that, you know, when I am working with them on their life planning and purposes, you know, when you are quiet and, you know, Irina, you mentioned this as well, to be able to meditate and be quiet with mm -hmm. yourself. And that's when a lot of your true self, your subconscious comes in and it's giving yourself the uh, the grace and the ability to be patient more and to listen more and to give more. And it allows us just to, at the end of the day, be our true self. Yes. <laughs> and that's so rewarding. And that's how all of us should really strive to live on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, my clients, I am telling them to really... Um, to meditate, to be patient, to give, and give to yourself as well during this time. And like you say, Jenny, all the time, be the light, you know, be the light. And um, this will pass and we will be better for it. And a lot of people are saying that, but at the end of the day, I really, really believe that we will be better off. Yes. Yes, that's true. Um, I actually have, uh, I, I, I came across to this uh, guru and he said that as human, we have the ability to shift our thoughts and feelings from negative into positive. And I held on to that. So I was very young when I heard that uh, quote from this person. I actually forgot who this is but it got stuck on my brain. And then so since then, I always use that. And because I keep on practicing that, uh, that uh, shifting from negative into positive, I became that. I suddenly can shift negative to, ne to positive. So I use that all the time with uh, my, to my approach with my clients, my friends, my family, most of the time for myself. And this is what it is. If there is no way, if there, if you have no choice, you will do something about it. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is a human uh, nature. Our reaction, if we can see that there is no way we are going to do something about it. If we have no choice, we are still going to do something about it. We will not just gonna let ourselves get stuck like in that corner. If, if it's the dead end, what are you gonna do? If you can't break the wall, you turn around, pull way. back. Yeah? So mm -hmm. another thing that, so another thing that I learned from myself, like I, again, I, I use this before I preach, I practice it. I practice what I preach. So when times like this, when there are tough situations that arises, unexpected situations, I easily recognize that I am not in control. But of course, in the beginning, you would be like, no, you're going to uh, face it. But when you know that you are not in control anymore, you back up and pause, mm -hmm. you breathe, and then see the bigger picture. What's in that picture? I am outside that picture. What is it that I can give more to improve in that picture? Mm -hmm. I begin with myself. I don't start practicing with my clients. I practice first with my own situation. So I pause, 
and then I breathe, and then I see what's going on in there. I face my fears by even if I cried so hard, even if it will, my ego will hit me and kill me, I would still <laughs> face to face. It's like, what you call that, like a coalition? Yeah, coalition. Yeah, head to head, heart to heart, spirit to spirit. Because the only way that I can really rise up is to hurt myself by facing my fears and seeing the truth and acknowledging that there is a really problem within me that I need to heal and I need someone to help me with that. And so I will seek for someone who would help me, whether it's be a friend or even my mom, my sister, Burns, all of you guys who are here my mentor, my coaches, anybody who can help me because all of us needs to be heard and, all of, and a lot of us wanted to be a hero. So take advantage of these people who wants to be a hero, which is Jill, Burns, Irina, and Rochi. We, we all want to be a hero. And by being a hero to these people who needs us, the benefit that we will, the benefit and the satisfaction that we will get from them is how they became who they are because of our help, right? Mm 